Warm greetings to all of you. My name is Jayatma Vikramanayake and I am the United Nations Secretary General's Envoy on Youth. I would like to congratulate the organizers for this important event and commend the participants who have committed both their time and effort to learn about the processes of the United Nations and embody its values. We, as a generation, make up the largest population of young people the world has ever seen. With greater access to education, technology, knowledge and opportunities than previous generations, you are all equipped and ready to be active agents of change. We are all global citizens and the challenges of our interconnected society call for far-reaching changes in how we think and act for the dignity and betterment of our communities. By participating in Model United Nations, you are taking an important step towards institutional arrangements and creating an enabling environment for meaningful youth inclusion. But while it's positive that many member states mention youth, we need more detail provided regarding the efforts to ensure that the process is inclusive and that engagement is meaningful. I see two things that need to happen. One, more member states must bring youth delegates to the high-level political forum. I'm delighted that youth delegates are here today to share their experiences in their country's voluntary national review process. Voluntary national reviews are complex exercises and youth delegates can help to bridge the gap between young people and these complex discussions. It's a first step in giving young people a chance to understand the process and to start participating in it. Having been a youth delegate myself in the past, I can tell that being a youth delegate is as much about proactively contributing as it is about raising awareness among one's peers. Secondly, there are also numerous individuals and youth-led organizations across the globe that meaningfully contribute to the implementation of the Sustainable Development Goals every day without being a part of the formal process. Whether this is through shadow reporting, providing citizen-generated data, designing their own youth-led monitoring frameworks, or championing awareness of the goals at the local and national level, they are committed to making the 2030 Agenda a success. Despite the widespread structural barriers that prevent young people from participating in formal processes, young people find creative and innovative informal ways to participate. And we need to find ways to include their contributions and opinions in the formal processes. So, to the policymakers present today, I encourage you to take note of the best practices and key learnings out here, be inspired and consider what you can do to help increase youth engagement in the Sustainable Development Goals and most importantly, voluntary national review processes. Lastly, I have one thing to say to all the young people in the room. We are the SDG generation and we are critical in the implementing and reviewing of this agenda. Demand to have a seat at the table. Don't wait for an invitation. Act now, speak up, and believe in your power to change the world. I wish you a fruitful discussion and look forward to following the outcomes. Thank you very much.